Why do you consider Naruto such a good friend? I consider Naruto a good friend because he saved me. You know, he really saved me from evil. And there was this one time where I snuck into the village when I was still on the bad side. And basically what I was trying to do is because, you know, everyone knew that him and Hinata were gonna get married. So basically what I did is I went up to Hinata and I was like, yo, listen, you're gonna be tied down for the rest of your life to Naruto. So just give me a chance so you could experience something else and just so I can go a little bit crazy, you know? Maybe get Naruto a little bit mad. And then she actually agreed to it without telling anyone I was in the village. We went back to her place and then we started going crazy. Naruto walks in, right? And I'm thinking we're about to fight. I'm getting excited. I'm getting hyped up. He pulls out his shadow clones, but he pushes me off of Hinata and starts beating her ass. Boom, beating her, punch her in the face, punch her in the face, punch her in the face, choke holds. Right, and then while he's choke holding her, looks up at me and said, Sasuke, I can never get mad at you for something like this. You are my best friend. And that's when I knew that he was my best friend. You know, that's when I knew that I had to do something about this, this power that I was seeking. Why I, why I chose to go this route, you know, and why I'm tormenting this kid emotionally. Describe Naruto in one word. His unpredictableness is really a quality that I think he has that allows him to be such a great Hokage. And there's actually this one time where I heard Hinata bragging about something called the Shadow Clone Treatment. And I figured it had something to do with the bedroom. So then I'm sneaking around. I sneak into his house while Hinata's not there. And I'm like, yo, let me experience this, you know? So then he pulls out the Shadow Clones and I didn't know it involved getting jumped. So then he pulls out like 20 Shadow Clones. They start beating me up. And I'm sitting here and I'm getting angry and angry. And he's yelling at me saying he wishes he had a different teammate like Ten Ten and Eno. And he would rather be in the bedroom with someone else. He said he would rather be in the bedroom with Haku. And then I was sitting there mad, but then it hit me. He is doing all of this, but it just shows how great he is on the battlefield and how unpredictable his moves are and how great he could just catch the enemy off guard. So I'm sitting here and I'm just taking this beat down because I'm just like mesmerized about how good this man is for our village. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it really went.